In video part one, we learned already what is probability. So now in probability part two, we are going to learn complement of an event probability. A complement of an event A is the set of all the outcomes in the sample space that are not included in the outcomes of A and it denoted by A prime. Now we have 10 balls here. Number of orange ball equal to four. Number of sample spares or number of outcome in the sample space is 10. Probability of getting orange ball is four over 10. So we simplify it equal to two over five. Now we want to find the probability of complement of A. Just now, probability of getting orange ball is two over five. Now, what is the probability of complement of A? Means that what is the probability of not getting orange ball? So probability of complement of A is six over 10 equal to three over five. I add probability of event A and complement of probability of event A equal to two over five plus three over five equal to one. That's why we have formula probability of event A plus probability of complement of event A equal to one. If I move probability of event A to the right hand side, so the formula is probability of complement of event A equal to one minus probability of event A. So just now the probability of complement of event A, we also can write one minus two over five. Also we can get equal to three over five. Now we look at example, a container contains a number of black and blue pen. Now here the container, we're not sure how many black pen here and how many blue pens here. The probability of choosing one black pen from the container is four over five. Calculate the probability of choosing one blue pen from the same container. So just now we already learned the formula probability of complement A equal to one minus probability of event A. So we use this formula to find the probability of choosing one blue pen from the same container. So probability choosing one blue pen equal to one minus probability choosing one black pen equal to one minus four over five equal to one over Five. We look at next example. We look at next example. A bag contains red, blue, and green beads. The number of red beads is 60. When a bead is picked at random, the probability of picking a blue bead is 1 over at and the probability of picking a red bead is three over at calculate a the probability of picking a green bead so as we know probability of green bead equal to one minus probability of blue bead just now is one over at and minus probability of Red B is 3 over 8. So equal to 4 over 8. We simplify this fraction equal to 1 over 2. B, the total number of bits in the bed. Okay, so given the number of red bits is 60. So we use the probability of red beads, 3 over 8, 
compare with the actual number of red feet, 60 over the total. So at the left hand side is probability, already simplified. And at the right hand side is the actual number of red beads over the total. We do the cross multiplication. 3 multiply total equal to x times 60. Total equal to 480 divided by 3 equal to 160. So the total number of beads in the bag is 160. Next example, a container contains 42 red marbles and a few black marbles. The marble is randomly taken from the container. The probability of taking the red marble is 7 over 15. Calculate A, the probability of choosing a black marble. So now in the container, we have red marble and black marble, two types only. So probability of red marble given already, 7 over 15. So now we want to find the probability choosing a red marble. It's quite simple. We just use the formula. Probability of uh, the probability of choosing a black marble equal to 1 minus 7 over 15. 7 over 15 is probability choosing a red marble. So equal to 8 over 15. Okay, B. The number of black marbles. As now we already obtained the probability of black marble at over 15. Can we can we use that probability to find the numbers of black marble? According to the question, we don't have the total of the marbles in the container. If the total of the marbles in the container, we can just at over 15 times the total, we can get the number of black marble. So now we cannot straight away find the number of black marble. We need to find the total number of marbles in the container first. So we, uh, we have probability of red marble is 7 over 15. And we have the number of red marble equal to 42. So we do the comparison again. Okay, 7 over 15 the probability equal to actual number 42 over the total. So we have 7 times total equal to 42 times 15. Total equal to 630 over 7 equal to 90. So 90 is total of the marbles. So to find the number of black marbles, we need to minus. Or we also can number of black marble equal to we use the probability at over 15 times 90 we get equal to 48 48 marbles or we just minus it uh, total is 90 so 90 minus 42 we also can get 48 black marbles okay now we look at see the probability of choosing black marbles if 10 red marbles are added now the total already changed. At first, the total of the marbles is 90. Now add another 10 red marbles. So what is the total now? 90 plus 10 equal to 100. So number of the black marbles still the same, 48. Total, 100. So probability to obtain the black marbles now equal to 48 divided by 100 and we simplify it equal to 12 over 25. If you think this video is helpful to you, please subscribe and share. Thank you.